Hi, I'm Bart Paulson. I'm an associate professor in the Behavioral Science Department here at Utah Valley University. And along with my colleague, Nicole Ortega, who is the chair of the Department of Dance at UVU, we're proposing a project that we refer to as Dance Loops for a UVU Presidential Fellowship for Faculty Scholarship for the 2012-2013 academic year. Now, because this is an unusual project, I thought it would be good for me to demonstrate a little bit of the background of this project by showing you a piece that I recently presented at the University of Utah under the title Dots and Lines and Dance and All of Us. This piece that I created was done with modern dance students at the University of Utah. I got 10 dance students and asked each of them to create a 10 second improvised sequence and I recorded their motion with a Microsoft Connect. That's a a device that's usually used with an Xbox game console but can also be hooked up directly to a computer with the appropriate software and it can get both video capture which I'll show you in a moment as well as it can get three-dimensional measurements of distance to a surface that allows us to recreate a point cloud here this is uh, a data stream that shows how the Kinect sees with its infrared camera the distance to the person who's dancing now, one of the interesting things about this is that in these clips you'll see is most of the time the person who's dancing is pretty much front and center uh, in front of the camera. But because I'm using measurements to represent these points, which by the way, I'm running through a program called Processing, I'm actually able to use the computer to rotate the image even if the person is not moving dramatically. And so that is one aspect of something that we could be including in dance loops. What this scene is showing you is how the connect running through the computer is able to infer the joint positions of the dancers. This one is simply showing the representation of the dancer's body and it's, the person is going through their movements. And in this case, I'm actually maintaining each previous frame as they go through to give an accumulated sense of the dance as a, it's a, you might say an atemporal form of dance for screen. Finally, for this piece, I took the still frames from each of the dances. I have one frame per second, so that's 10 frames for each of the 10 dances. And by running them through filters, made them black and white and uh, removed background, able to put them in a random arrangement here in this grid. This is actually a standalone Macintosh application that's available in the supplementary materials online. It's called Dance Grid for Mac dot app. And in this one, what happens is when you click on one of the images, say for instance right here, what it does is it highlights all of the other images in that same sequence. It also indicates which one's the first here with the green dot and which one's the last with the red dot. It can highlight a different sequence. Uh, by the way, the line here is something referred to as a catmull rom spline a mathematical formula with a random variable for the tension parameter. That's the level of curviness. Um, but you can click on it and get all of these items here. And then you've, if you press the down arrow on your keyboard, what it does is it takes the images and it puts them into their proper temporal format, giving a frame-by-frame um, -frame view of the dance in the order it was performed. So here we go. And if you press the space bar, it'll refresh back to where it was previously. And so I'm showing these so you understand a little bit of the potential that we have with the connect and dance. And what we're proposing for dance loops is a greatly expanded version of this that not only has the motion capture and the filming, but also allows dancers to create improvised sequences and then use gestural controls to control the way that the music and the video are played back during the performance. And I encourage you to get onto the supplemental materials and take a look at this and see uh, some of the potential that's there. Thanks for watching.